tinatayang tatlundaang libo hanggang apat na raang libong babae at anim na pung libo hanggang isang daang libong bata ang biktima ng human trafficking sa Pilipinas. Ano nga ba ang human trafficking? The Expanded Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act deals with the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipt of persons with or without their consent, or with or without their knowledge, or within or across the Philippine borders for the purpose of sexual exploitation, forced labor, or removal or sale of the organs of these trafficked persons. Laganap ang iba't ibang uri at anyo ng human trafficking. Meron tayong tinatawag na domestic trafficking or internal trafficking. Mula, usually yan, ang mga tao ay nire-recruit mula doon sa mga rural areas, yung mga napakalayo no, na rural areas, dinadala sa urban areas. Usually ang Maynila ay transit point o pin, sila yung parang middle point. Tapos yung destination ay sa isa ring rural area. We also have a big problem of uh, trafficking for the sale and removal of organs. So there is a big shortage of uh, kidneys uh, for transplant in the whole world. So for a while, uh, the Philippines became a destination for transplant tourism and organ trafficking. What is prevalent is the online child sexual exploitation, or OSEX, they call it OSEX. Lately in the news, there's so many mga pedophiles being busted and sometimes the worst is the family themselves would sell their children for online sa child sexual exploitation without considering the trauma that they are exposing their children to. Child soldiers as, as a global issue is, is very serious and, and it often um, occurs in a conflict, especially in a heightened conflict. So there are many ways of, of pulling a child into any kind of armed groupings. Ano nga ba ang mga pangunahing sanhi ng human trafficking? Actually, ang pinaka mabigat na dahilan bakit nagiging biktima ang mga babae at mga kabataan ay dahil pa rin sa sobrang kahirapan. 3.2 million ang mga bata na nasa child labor at tatlong million doon ay mga bata na nasa worst forms of uh, labor, of child labor. So, case in point yung rescue namin na uh, last February, yung sinasabi kong around 17 women, they are all very young, the passports were all fake. And then when they were asked, bakit ka sa mama, 15, 16, 17 ka lang, sabi niya, wala makain doon ma'am. Children don't really hold the key to their own future. Adults in their environment often make the choices for them, and that leads to exploitation or abuse of, of different kinds. Very rarely are children themselves initiating any kind of, of abuse that happened to them. Upang tugunan ang lumalalang sitwasyon ng human trafficking sa bansa, Isinabatas ang Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2003 na sinusugan at pinatatag ng Expanded Anti-Trafficking in Persons Act of 2013. First, it considers trafficked persons are as victims rather than as offenders. And um, it exempts trafic, trafficked persons from the payment of filing fees. It also recognizes the right to privacy such that um, the names of the trafficked persons are not disclosed. It gives the trafficked persons preferential entitlement under the Witness Protection Program of the government. It provides protection and assistance to the trafficked persons even when they are also foreigners. The government agencies are mandated under the law to, um, to establish and implement preventive and protective rehabilitative programs. It establishes a trust fund uh, for the programs that would benefit the trafficked persons and lastly, it creates an interagency council against trafficking. Sa pagtutulungan ng interagency council against trafficking, non-governmental organizations, at ng pribadong sektor, unti-unting natutugunan ng batas na ito ang isyu ng human trafficking sa Pilipinas. Sa taong 2016 at 2017, nakamit ng bansa ang Tier 1 rating sa United States Trafficking in Persons Report. It's a recognition of our 
efforts. And it's a message to us that just because you're in Tier 1 rank doesn't mean that there's no more human trafficking. There is still human trafficking. In fact, Tier 1 rank means that the country is acknowledging the human trafficking problem in the Philippines. And we were actually compliant now to the minimum standards set under their law. So, ibig sabihin, there is still more to those standards na kailangan abutin natin para hindi tayong bababa sa Tier 2.